Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we have another custom review. Stay tuned. All right, guys, as you guys could see, this is Lord Dragon. If you guys didn't know who he is, don't feel bad because I, I kind of forgot what he was, too. <laughs> I didn't really remember who he was until I got a request to make this figure. Uh, this is for a client. Um, I did make this guy for a client, so um, it's not for my personal collection. Who this is, this is the main bad guy from the TV series of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, the next generation uh, or the next mutation I should say not the next generation the next mutation that's what it's called um, so he is the main bad guy um, if you guys haven't watched that don't feel bad because I didn't really watch it I know the people from the US didn't really watch uh, that TV show because I think uh, Power Rangers was the main thing at the time so nobody really cared about these figures or at least the TV show um they did make some of the figures i think it was i don't know if it's mattel or Kenner that made the figures but they didn't have all the articulation they didn't make them look as real as this so yeah so that's why he requested for me to make one one of these figures uh the guy that lived that guy that uh requested the fi this figure uh he lives in israel so maybe it was big in israel but it wasn't big in the u.s so if you guys don't know who he is don't feel bad i understand but this is who he's supposed to be so that's who he is so anyways um so let's go uh i guess we could go into the articulation the articulation i guess his legs don't kick out that much for the simple fact is because he has an armor on so they kick out that much but he does have a pretty good bend at the knees he could bend that much at the knees which is pretty good um his toes kick out and you could bend them from side to side if you like uh, his hands go out that much and or his arms go out that much and they go forward that much they do have a bend there and you could twist his arms if you like so of course he ain't gonna go that much higher because of the shoulder pads and if you guys have any figures with any any figures that have shoulder pads of course your arms aren't gonna go all the way up because the shoulder pads are always gonna be in the way so I sculpted all this to make him look that way, to make his muscles. Uh, I sculpted this part of the arms, these little blades here. I sculpted this little symbol there. Uh, his face is completely sculpted. Uh, the shoulder pads are completely sculpted. Uh, his knee pads are, sh are uh, sculpted as well. Of course, I had to make this little uh, cloth um, cape right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then... Uh, like i said his whole head is sculpted and he uh, the, cl the client also wanted his hair to go uh from side to side so there it is uh he also has a helmet that the client also wanted for it to come off and on so that he sculpted his helmet and there is his helmet uh he also wanted some accessories so i made him his sword if i could get his sword in there so there you go. He holds his sword right there. Pretty cool character, but like I said, I didn't really get into this whole uh, the next mutation uh, TV series. I didn't really get into it, so I, w I really didn't didn't want any of these characters. But I mean, like I said, it is for another client. It's not for my personal collection, and I hope he enjoys it. Uh, he wanted me to do a review on my channel, so I said, sure, why not? So, there you go. There is a custom figure for a client. Uh, I know this episode's a little short. I just wanted to show this guy off to you guys. I don't think that much people are going to know who he is. <laughs> but, there he is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode. If you did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace. Oh, and I did create his little sidekick, which looks like this. His name is Wick. Uh, I will make a separate video for him. Um, but because I'm not done with him. At, at this moment, I'm still working on, on Wick. So uh, whenever I'm done with him, I'll uh, do a review of him so you guys can see who he is. I guess his little sidekick. It's like a little dragon looking thing. Um, it's basically a puppet on the show. 
so uh, I made him too that's what he, that's the client wanted so I made him that little puppet as well so if you guys want to watch that uh, don't forget to subscribe hit the bell notification that way you guys get notified when I make that video but um, as far as this guy goes that's that's basically it um, if you guys are into this stuff please hit me up uh, if you guys want a custom figure also hit me up if you guys want a custom diorama also hit me up uh anyways that's gonna do it for now that's gonna wrap it up thank you guys so much for watching i know this video is really really short but like i said i don't really know too much about this figure i just wanted to show them off because the client asked me to show them off on the channel um so i did so anyways thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you guys watching if you like this episode please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what I guess we'll see me on the next one. Peace.